Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Defense Ministry of Israel has informed on Thursday regarding a successful test of the new iron beam laser interception system. This is the world's first energy-based weapon system that uses a laser to shoot down the incoming UAVs, rockets and mortars at a cost of just $3.5 per shot. According to the Ministry of Israel, it is among the first countries in the world to succeed in using powerful laser technology to develop a working air defense system and to demonstrate the interception in an operational scenario. The ministry has been testing the laser-based defense system for several years, shooting down a drone with it last year. And in a video released by ministry, the laser-based system can be seen intercepting a rocket, a mortar and a drone at an undisclosed location in southern Israel's Negev desert during March of this year. The recent tests were the first to be successful against the other threats including unguided projectiles and anti-tank guided missiles. It may sound like a science fiction but now it has become a reality. The use of a laser is a game changer and technology is simple and cheap to operate and proves to be very very economically viable. Iron Beam is a directed energy weapon air defense system which was first unveiled in the Singapore Air Show on February 11, 2014 and deployed by Rafael Advanced Systems on August 17, 2020. Its research and development department initially planned to deploy the anti-missile system by 2024, but the military has pushed for an earlier deployment. The Prime Minister Neftali Bennett announced in February that Israel would deploy the system within the year. This system is designed to destroy short-range rockets, artillery and mortar bombs. The ground-based laser system which is dubbed as Iron Beam is developed by Rafael. An Iron Beam battery is mobile, consists of an air defense radar, a command and control unit, two HEL that is high energy laser systems. It is intended for two laser guns to initially produce 100 to 150 kilowatt of power. While official information is not available, but as per 2020 report, it was said that Iron Beam was thought to have maximum effective range of up to 7 km and could destroy missiles, UAVs, mortar shells around 4 seconds after the twin high energy fiber optic lasers make the contact with the target. Whether acting as a standalone system or external queuing as part of a different system, a threat is detected by a surveillance system and tracked by a vehicle platform in order to engage. The main benefits of using directed energy weapon over conventional missile interceptors are low cost per shot, unlimited number of firings and lower operational cost and less manpower. It is not meant to replace the Iron Dome of Israel and other defense systems but to supplement and complement them, shooting down smaller projectiles and leaving larger ones for the more robust missile defense system. Iron Beam will constitute the fifth element of Israel's integrated air defense system. The other four elements are Arrow 2, Arrow 3, David's Sling and Iron Dome. Iron Beam can also be used as a standalone system. Till date, hundreds of millions of shekels have been allocated for the final development stages and trial phase of Iron Beam in which the system will be placed on the border with the Gaza Strip. As long as there is a constant source of energy for laser, there is no risk of ever running out of ammunition. The downside of laser system is that it does not function well in the times of low visibility including heavy cloud cover or other harsh weather condition. To compensate that, the system can also be mounted on an airplane which would help to get around this limitation by putting the system above the clouds though it is still in development and might take a couple of more years to come into the operation. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. 
Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in different sectors.